Hey YouTube, I wanted to do a video on my BMW i3 Rex, specifically on how well the, the Rex engine can hold the state of charge of the battery on the highway with cold weather conditions with the climate set to a comfortable level in the car. So without compromising any heat, I wanted to see whether or not the Rex is able to keep up at highway speeds and hold the state of charge. So it's minus 13 degrees today, so I think it's probably a reasonable day to do a test like this. Let's go out to the car and do a quick run down the highway and see how we do. Okay, so we're stuck behind uh, some slow moving traffic a little bit. Uh, but the cruise control is set on. There's minus 12 and a half degrees. And uh, let's take a look at our battery state of charge. 84 and a half. So one thing I would have liked to have done is I would have liked to have done this at a colder temperature but um, we're in lockdown here and uh, it, there's a curfew at um, at 8 p.m. so I think tonight it is actually going to go down to minus 19 but only after 8 p.m. and uh, I just I just can't get out of the house and drive around so um, uh, I have to do this during the day or between 5 a.m. and 8 p.m. Uh, because of lockdown. Okay, so we hit minus 13 degrees. Is that minus 13.5 going over the bridge? Uh, so uh, yeah, we're, we're closing in on minus minus 14 degrees. That's okay. Okay, so. Um, on hold state of charge at uh, 73%. So now we're holding state of charge, we're going 100 kilometers an hour, and we've dropped the percent to 72%. So let's just see how this goes. I don't have much gas in the, in the Rex tank, and I don't use the Rex very often. So uh, this is also an opportunity for me to run down the gas in the Rex. Uh, tank and uh, refill it up with some fresh gas. I think the last time I filled it up was about three to four months ago, so I've been slowly burning it down. Uh, but don't drive too, too much these days. And uh, yeah, <laughs> the Rex tank, does, the Rex just does not get used very much with, with the amount of driving that I do. In any case, uh, here we're just continuing down the highway and at 100 kilometers an hour, it doesn't seem to be able to hold 73%. Uh, it's dwindling down, it's down to 71 and a half. And it's only been a few minutes, but the, the percent goes down pretty rapidly. I've got the heating on, uh, I'm in Eco Pro. I'm not cold at all because the car started off warm, so it's very pleasant in the car and it's also very sunny today, so uh, we're getting a lot of solar heating inside the car also. So let's just see how, how far this goes down uh, as we cruise along the highway. going to have to get off at the next exit and uh, we find some gas hopefully. Uh, I'm not too far from home so I should be okay. Yeah, we're down to 69%. So yeah, for sure even at 90 kilometers per hour in these cold conditions with the heater off, we're really just not able to hold the state of charge. Although I actually have I've been going uphill for the past couple of minutes now, so that's also a little bit harder. Probably going back, it will be a little bit easier. Anyways, uh, I'm going to cut the video here and uh, go probably fill a tank up. And uh, 
then try uh, this same test again on the way back home. Okay, so we're back on the highway and uh, we just gassed up and I clicked hold state of charge at 66% and I'm at 90 kilometers an hour now and let's see how we do at 90 kilometers per hour. I'm also kind of going to be going a bit downhill now so I suspect it will be a little bit easier for it. Uh, we're still got the same fan speed uh, on, the, on the heater and the heat is set to 20 degrees and let's see oh, okay we're down a half a percent so it's still dropping So yes, it seems to be holding a little bit better at 90 kilometers per hour. Uh, let's just see how this goes for the next few minutes. charge or if it is bleeding down it's bleeding down relatively slowly uh, I'm not seeing the type of drop that I was seeing before at a hundred kilometers uh, and I'm not too far off well 65 no I dropped one percent so you know let's we're getting closer to the city, so I'm going to drop the speed back down to 90 and see if at 90 kilometers an hour we're able to maintain the state of charge. Oh, I smoke, that's a big truck. I'm going to start to hit a little bit of traffic here, and it's going to slow me down naturally, anyways. I won't be able to maintain. Okay, so as you can see, the BMW i3 is with the Rex is not really able to hold the state of charge under all conditions on the highway uh, at minus 13 with the heat on full. Uh, it seems that it's a it's just marginal. It's just able to do it in some situations. Uh, between 90 and 100 kilometers an hour. As you get more up to 100 kilometers an hour and you start going uphill, it starts to have problems. If you stay at 90 kilometers an hour and you're kind of on flat terrain, uh, that kind of helps. It also, um, what we noticed uh, was that going on the highway, uh, heading west and into the wind was also, it was struggling a bit more. So these effects all add up and um, make it a little bit difficult for the Rex to maintain state of charge. So it's definitely something to consider if you're going to use the car to go on a longer highway trip and it's going to be quite cold. You can always sacrifice the heat and drive uh, without any heat, but that's kind of miserable. I, I personally don't want to do that. 
Um, I have done that in uh, other electric cars, and um, I kind of been there, done that, don't want to do that anymore. So anyways, I hope you found this uh, video informative, and um, please give it a like, and uh, don't subscribe to my channel, because I don't have very many videos yet. But subscribe later, once it gets more substantial. Okay, see you later.